Welcome back everyone. Today is the final tutorial on creating this file manager app. Today we're going to talk about um, navigation up top here. So we can see the navigation is home and then we can see we're in file B now. What we want to configure is when the user clicks home or for example file B, folder B, we navigate to it directly updating this area. So it's almost like at the top part, it's almost like a real time um, navigation system containing breadcrumbs where the user can click and navigate to that specific folder. In order to do this, the first thing we need to set is, um, let me just remove this quickly. Okay, the first one we're gonna set here is a page parameter. So the page parameter here we need is, let's call this breadcrumb. This is gonna be a list of string. Um, it's gonna be a list of string and Next, let's show these breadcrumbs. So um, for this row, the reason I'll leave home slash here is because I want the home slash to go back to home, while the breadcrumb will contain all the subsequent folders we've clicked into. So I'm gonna quickly add a row here, add a row. And then within this row, I'm just gonna copy this text field here for formatting sake. And then I will create a, a dynamic children. So let's call it breadcrumb list. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to use the breadcrumb page state. Confirm, uh, confirm, confirm. Perfect. Now instead of home slash, we will show breadcrumb item. Great. So if you recall, we have files and folders query collection, and each of them contains a parent path equals parent path var. So a parent path variable. So basically it's identifying, okay, we, um, so are looking for folders and files within this parent path. So let's quickly configure the, e configure the easiest one. So when we click home slash, we want to navigate to the home slash parent path val. So let's set when this is being clicked on, let's update the page state. So the page state we want to update is the parent path variable and we're going to set the value to home slash. This is basically saying when we click the home breadcrumb, we will set the parent path variable to home slash, and therefore this should be reflected correctly. Let's test this out. Okay, now that's loaded. Let's go to parent folder B, and then let's go to folder X within folder B. Um, we haven't configured the later part of the breadcrumb. We can do that, we'll do that later, but let's see if this action directs us back to the home, only folder B inside. Great, we can see here that once we clicked on here, folder B, is the only folder being shown. Well, we can do this and navigate again. And let's go back to the root directory of home. Perfect, folder B, we're back again. So this button of home slash is working. Next, let's configure the breadcrumb list to show. So when we click folder B here, it will show folder B dynamically. And then when folder A is being shown, we will show folder B slash folder A updated. In order to do this, we need to create a custom function. So let's create a custom function called file manager breadcrumb and the string output is a list and then what we need to feed in is the parent path so let's call it um, a parent path which is nullable because it's nullable because when we're in the home directory the parent path is none so we're gonna so make sure it's nullable so we don't cause any problem I've already created a set of code here but what in essence it's doing is basically for the parent path input that it's receiving we will remove the home component because we already have that configured, but output um, whatever is remaining by splitting the hash. So basically here, if we um, test the function, if we test the function and input a parent path of home slash folder B, folder A updated, it will show folder B slash folder A updated slash. So now this function is configured and working correctly. Let's config this when we dive deeper into each individual folder. So on double tap here, we update the page state. What we also wanna update is the um, the page state again. So I'm gonna do a separate action. You can do the same action, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's just do a separate action just to make it cl cleaner for you guys. We're gonna set the value of breadcrumb um, and then we're gonna do a custom function. The custom function we're gonna do is the file manager of breadcrumb. The parent path we're feeding is gonna be a combined text field of the parent path of the current folder plus the folder's name, which is residing in file title. Let's confirm, confirm. 
Now let's test this to see if it works. So we're going to instant reload this. Now that it has loaded, let's click into folder B. We can see here now the path is being updated. Let's click here, folder A. Perfect, it's showing. So we can navigate home as always. But what we want to do here is the user clicks folder B here. It actually navigates to folder B, which is the previous structure. Or if the user clicks folder A updated here, it goes there into that file path and shows subsequent files and folders within this folder. Let's go back into Flutterflow and configure that action. So what we need is another custom function. So let's call this custom function file manager breadcrumb clicked. And what we need is basically a string. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to output the exact file path. We want the page state variable that contains parent bar file. We want to tell it exactly where to go because by updating this, the files and the folders will be subsequently updated for that specific folder. So let's go back, um, let's define it. So firstly, we need the folder name of type string and it's a list. And then subsequently we need the index as well of integer, knowing um, where we're clicking in to. So the code has been written already. I'll explain it quickly. So it's basically, we are looking for what is being clicked on in this breadcrumb, the index of the breadcrumb. And then based on its click, we will use a sub list. We'll get a proportion of the index. So if folder A updated is being clicked, that's an index of one because B is zero, and that's one. We will now take this portion. So we'll output for, um, folder B slash folder A updated. And this is basically doing the join here itself. So let me quickly save this function. So what we need to do next is let's go back to the action when depending on where we clicked. So let's create an action where we update the state here. So there's two state we need to be updating, I'll show you. So the first that we would update is of course the variable, uh, this parent path bar. So what we need is basically we're gonna set a value, we're gonna combine the values. So the first value you need is home slash. And the second one we need is basically custom functions output. So it will be the breadcrumb clicked, the folder name we need to pass in is the breadcrumb list itself. So it's going to be page state, breadcrumb list of strings. And the index we need to pass in is this breadcrumb list item, index in list. The second action we need is basically updating this kind of um, path. So it gets updated when we click on a certain um, breadcrumb. So what we need to do here, let me quickly copy this variable we just created. We're gonna update the breadcrumb list of strings. We're gonna use the same custom function we created previously, file manager breadcrumb. And what we need to pass in for file path is um, I copied this parent path val. I'm just gonna paste it here. And that's exactly what we need. And I'm gonna press close and let's run this. So now that's loaded, let's click in folder B. We can see folder B is reflected up here. Let's go to folder A and let's go to folder B within folder A. So here we can see there is actions available to be clicked. Let's click folder B to see if it navigates there. Perfect, see it navigated to folder B and folder A updated is there and the folder X. Now let's go to folder A, let's try this now. Let's go to folder A updated. And here we can see we are now in folder A updated, which has folder B and a Corgi photo. Thank you for following this five part tutorial on creating your own file manager. Remember you can get this app by following the link below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this whole series. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.